guys, it's Story Gossip here. As you already know about the condition of my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my Sakan channel so you won't miss any updates from me. Thank you. On March 22nd, the OP took to Instas to post an article that appeared to be age-shaming the girl group and criticized them for not having a married member yet. In an article released in February last year, the media outlet Insight wrote an article featuring Girls' Generation and emphasized how the girl group remain loyal in their main job by choosing to be active as idols rather than getting married in their 30s. While it seemed like it was praising the nation's girl group by highlighting their previous achievements since they debuted in 2007 and unrelenting reign in the music industry for the past decade, the journalist suddenly emphasized the age of the members. The media then compared S and SD to its rival Wonder Girls, whose members were already getting married, instead of announcing their comeback and idol activities. It was tolerable up until here. But what didn't sit well with fans the most was when the media linked to S and SD to the declining birth rate in South Korea, saying fans reacted to this by saying, I hope they will remain as my idol forever, while also sending endless support for their future. However, some people are responding by saying, just looking at this proves that the birth rate is declining. When the article resurfaced, Knats felt angry especially fans for asking too much from girls' generation, although they might not help with elevating the birth rate. SNSD contributed a lot to the nation's growth and wealth during their heyday, up until Nof. Fans also highlighted the double standard between female and male idols, wherein the latter didn't receive the same criticism despite not getting married in their 30s as, well, 